My name is Rick Renner. People are always saying, Brother Rick, what are all the things on the shelves behind you on your TV set? So today, I'm going to show you something interesting and tell you why it's on our set. And that is Russian gel. That's what this little table is full of. This is Russian gel. Gel is a Russian pottery which is made in the little city of Zhell, just outside the city of Moscow. And for several hundred years, the people who live there have been making Russian blue and white porcelain that is called Zhell, named after the city of Zhell. And it is such interesting porcelain. It's very whimsical. Every piece is designed to entertain. And when you come to the table in Russia for lunch or for dinner, and the Zhell is seated on the table, you don't know what's under all the gel. All these decorative items cover, it hides what is under each piece. For example, this is the top of a butter plate. Can you imagine your butter being served under this? Two people, a father and a son playing chess, but if you look at the bottom, this is to cover butter. Or how about this wonderful little item? It looks like a man and a wife riding through their sleigh in the middle of the winter, this is Russian gel, but you take the top off, this is for serving vegetables. Or if you'd like to have some tea at lunch, how would you like to be served your tea in a teapot made like this? Look at all the items on this teapot. This is Russian gel. It's so whimsical, it's so enjoyable. Or how about this porcelain version of a rust Russian nesting doll? That's what this is. It is absolutely intricate and beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. This is a Russian nesting doll, but in this case, it is in porcelain. And when you take the top off, it's another piece for serving mystery secret food. Every top, when removed, reveals food underneath. And when you come to the dinner table, it's like a treasure hunt to find what is going to be hidden underneath the gel. You know what's interesting about this gel? When they first make it and paint it, it's not blue. It's white and it's covered with gray. It's very ugly, to be honest. It's very dull. This particular nesting doll and all these pieces was not blue at all in the beginning. It was just gray, very dull, unattractive paint. But when you put these pieces into the fire, everything changes. You say, Brother Rick, what do you mean? Well, first of all, if it has a defect, the fire will expose the defect. When you look through the window into the kiln, into the oven, you can see the defects in every part. If you stopped the fire to retrieve the pieces from the fire, the defects would remain. But if you allow every piece to stay in the fire all the way to the end, the fire will remove every single defect. And when you put every piece into the kiln, it's gray, it's ugly, it's unattractive. But the fire is what brings out this beautiful, deep, cobalt blue color. The fire adds richness and the fire adds color. You could say the fire removes the defects, the fire strengthens every piece, and the fire is what gives color to every single piece. Now I want to read to you a verse from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7, where Peter writes, that the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, may be found under praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. We don't like to go through fire. There's all kinds of fires in life. But the truth is, when we go into fire, it usually reveals our defects. If we'll allow the fire to do its work, it will remove our defects. And when the fire is finished and we come out, we have new color. Wow. We have a new richness in our life, something that we can give to other people. So that's why I have Russian gel on my TV set. Wow. Wasn't that a great video? My friends, would you please subscribe, like, and comment under this video? Please do that. It will help us reach more people with the gospel of Jesus Christ.